everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and Ma Miss Mau Mau. Mau Mau is playing in the cat lady box with one of the cat lady toys. I just did that video and I can't move it guys because she's having too much fun. So we're gonna have to unbox around her. And what are we unboxing today? It is an order from Miss A. It's here. Feel good Miss A. Haven't had a Miss A order in a little while. I have ones I haven't posted yet and may never see the light of day, but <laughs> you hear we have something to unbox from this thing, if I can get it out, because they've really got it in here tight. Okay, the air pillow didn't want to come out. I really love, as you've heard, how they pack their items, because they pack it in a really super duper cool air pillow thing. And I've only ever gotten one thing that was broken, and that was because my air pillow popped, and one uh, one pen got broken. But you know, I bought so much stuff from Miss A. I certainly can't complain about one item. Um, sorry about my air conditioning, guys. It's really hot here, and it unfortunately is in the central part of the house, and it's very loud. Now, somebody told me that the way to get things out is to pop the air pillows, the first couple of them, and then you can get your stuff out. And it seems to work. So, otherwise, I tend to have things stuck in there. Here is our sheet that tells us we spent too much money. We're not interested in that. Let's get that out of the way and start pulling out cuteness. All right. The first thing is a new headband, and it's got pearls. Um, let's use this as a background. It has pearls. Sorry, I cut it out pretty bad. And then it's got rhinestones sewn on top. Can you see it? So it's really um, not very wide. It's really cute. Let's see how it's... I already have a hair pin in, but yeah, see? That's cute, isn't it? I like that a lot. Let's put things in the cat lady box, even the cats are playing in the cat lady box. Next thing is a bracelet for a grandbaby, and it's got colorful beads, and then it's got a, a blue, looks like a uh, gummy bear. Let's take off the plastic so it's not so reflective, so you can see it a little better. If I got more than one, I'll only take one out of the plastic. Alright, so there is the gummy bear, see it? And then there is a silver smiley face on this side. Can you see that? And then all the rainbowy beads. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. I think that's a good one. The scissors out before I hide the scissors in the box. Um, here is a package of um, colored bobby pins. There's one of each color but I got two packs. I got two sides of my head. There's like pink one and a darker and a lighter pink one here. There's sort of a burgundy-ish one and a yellow one, orange and purple, blue and green, and black and yellow. I'm trying to cover up my face so you can, because otherwise it'll be focusing on my face. All right, so I'll only show you one package of those. There's another pack here somewhere. Right here. And then I got a pack of Oh, that smells really good. Scent booster, uh, lavender scent booster stuff for your laundry. And, you know, yes, it's not very much for a dollar, but I wanted to try it. Um, I really love to use the scent beads in my laundry. I use the Dreft baby powder scent, but, you know, let me turn this just a little bit. But who doesn't like lavender? I mean, most people do, I think. Um, I do. Let's not sit that by the cat, because probably the cat shouldn't be sniffing on that. Something came in this, ah, the pair of sunglasses. Something came wrapped up in here. See, they try, even with the air pillows, they still try very hard to protect your items. And it, then it's a neat a zip lock a bag. If I can get a hold of the zip lock to open it, we'll be in business. They're very thin um, metal, um, ear pieces. That's kind of different. Get the tag off. They're sort of, um, 
pad eye shape and then a reflective. Sorry if I'm blinding you. And they do fit over my glasses. See, any sunglasses I wear have got to fit over my glasses. So I will take those out to the car. I'm gonna wrap them back in this plastic between now and then because I don't want a cat scratching them. Why would I think that that would happen? Um, here's a neat bracelet. Might be, uh, we're going to see Riverdance tonight at uh, the Starlight Theater. It's an outdoor theater in Kansas City. And I might wear those glasses and I might wear a, this bracelet. It, um, it's expandable, it stretches so that it'll fit any wrist size, including mine, little tiny one. And then it's a blingy, blingy, sparkly. I hope you can see that. That's neat. I'll leave that on. Something else wrapped up so it doesn't break. I wonder what that is. Break. So I'll go cut into it with the scissors. Trying to open it, and I can just see myself cutting it in half, whatever it is. Ah. These are a little bit too big for me, for my taste. Let me take them out of the plastic. They're a pair of earrings, and it's nice that they wrap them up nicely so they wouldn't get broken. But they're just a little too large. Half the size would have been okay. They're a little too large for me. But they are pink and blingy and they're pretty. I just, I don't know. I think they're a little bit big for me, but maybe I'll try them and see. If they're too big for me, I'll give them to a grandchild. Because I'm not going to give them to somebody else after I've had them in my ears. All right. Okay. Here's a little item that's kind of interesting. It's a, uh, on a stationary line here. Uh, Kawhi stationary. Let me open it up so we can see what it's got. It says the small handle wheel seal or something like that. I don't know. Can't really read it. All right. So what it is, is these are, these wheels uh, have pictures and they stamp as you uh, roll it back and forth on this handle and then there's ink there so let me try to show you without dumping them out so there's three stamping wheels this handle and the ink so let's try one doesn't much matter we use ink the handle ink seems to be as good a reason as any and then you just pop it on the, the wheel See, and it sends. So it's just a little ink pad, and you just roll it on the ink pad until you get it all inked. Got to make sure you ink every bit of the um, raised area, or you're not going to get a full image. And then you just roll it on your paper, like a paint roller. Until you get the, to the end or until you run out of ink. That's super cute. We're only going to do one. They're different pictures, but I didn't get it inked as well as I could have. I'm going to use a bigger ink pad, but it's a nice juicy ink pad. That's not the problem. It just um, maybe if I, if I turn another, not both sides of this, then I can still use the other side for my project. I'm going to try inking it on the table so I'm getting a good even pressure because I think before I, I, holding it up in there I wasn't getting a good yeah, even pressure on it. All right, well, you know, it's, it's mostly for kids, but it's cute and it's kawaii. Well, that's the meaning of the word cute. I got it a little better, but again, I think that using a bigger ink pad, I would get a better result. So uh, there is that. Get this out of the way because Mama wants to play with it. I don't want Mama to play with it. Okay. Alright, so that's that. Watch out. Hey, 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 hey. Careful. 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 Alright. Next item is a journal. And I like it kind of. I have a date book that you'll see in a later video that uh, is going to be matching with this pretty much. So you got your uh, elastic band and it opens up just to have lined paper. It's a nice small size journal that you can toss in your purse and it's a hard cover. 
so that makes it nice. So I like that. You know, I like my journals. I got another one in marble, but it's the like gray and white. Oh, I like the pink and white for me, but I thought the gray and white would make a good gift. But they, those are both hardcover, but then I got soft cover ones. And so this has got fluffy, it's supposed to be cats. They look more like dogs than cats. I think maybe they are dogs. Okay, as I was saying, it is actually dogs and cats, but it is a soft cover and also lined paper. So um, I got this one for me, obviously, with the dogs and the cats. But I also got this one for me because I have a bag and stuff from Fab Fit Fun uh, that matches with this. I got a hat and a duffel bag type, well, bag type thing, also lined. Anyways, um, and I've got some other things that I bought to match, and I'm going to keep that in there so that when I travel, I have a journal with me. Then I got almost done, guys. I got some socks. Because Miss A makes really nice socks. I got a white pair with a heart. Because I like this length of socks the best. And they're not real big and I have really small feet. And that helps me a lot. They're very stretchable though. They would fit, I mean, they fit somebody with big feet. But I have little baby size feet. I wear a size, usually a two and a half to a three uh, in kid shoes. So I need small shoes. Or small shoes, small socks. Black ones with some smiley face. I might not be able to really smile here, but I can wear some socks with smiley faces. Oh, guys. And then we're going into the cuteness. Look at these ones with the little gray cat. Are those not the cutest? Now, these are the more short, almost no-show socks. And they're not my favorite, but come on. Had to have them anyways. And here's a... Ma really? There's like a Mau Mau one that kind of dressed more in a boys type outfit. The girls could wear that too. And then I've got a gray one with a Siamese cat that if my granddaughter sees these, she'll steal them because she has a Siamese cat. One of my granddaughters. Then there's gray ones with a heart. And the cat jumping. <laughs> Then there is this uh, sort of beige, you know, tan color with a sugar looking kitty cat or could be Bugatti that you just can't see the black on the because it's more to the back of his head and you've got a fish shirt on. But since there's two, that could be sugar and Bugatti, right? Um, gray with some smiley face. Blue with the kitty cat. The kind of, if you look at it just this side, it makes me think of little baby Newt. But then it has the brown hair on that side. But so cute. And black with a heart. And that, guys, <laughs> was all the Missy. But what do you think? I'm not going to recap. There's just too much. What do you think of my Missy order? I think I got some really, really cute things. And I didn't get all scars or all ink pens. I did get a lot of socks, but come on, they were so cute. How could I not? Just tell me, what do you think of my Miss A order? Have you ordered from shopmissa.com? Um, I will put the link in the description. Most things are a dollar. Some things are under $2, you know, $1.33, $1.50, $1.33? Maybe, $1.55, things like that. Um, most things are under two bucks. Most things are only a dollar. Um, a few things are a bit more. But, um, guys, the stuff is great quality. Love, love, love Miss A. Shop MissA.com. Check it out. And uh, I promise you, if you order once, you will be hooked. So don't say it anymore again. <laughs> With that, please give me that big old thumbs up. That would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well. And thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. It's going to be an interesting one, guys. Bye-bye.